You got a defensive zone face off. They're just going to try to get out of this one without any more damage being done. 59.7 left in the second period. BYU down 9 to 3. Utah State has outshot BYU 33 to 26. Most of those shots coming in the first period for the Aggies when they led 8 to 1 after the first period. Nice job there, but uh, Shugart wins that faceoff, puts it over to Burkhart, and this is where we got here, 2 on 1. It's Bartholomew out is on the other side. Bartholomew shoots, Finati catches it out of the air. Greg Finati with the save. He's been solid tonight. Yeah, he made that look pretty easy, but that was a good save. He was moving across his crease. Uh, still had his glove in the ready position. You know, good goaltender. They'll always have that, goal that goalie glove up. And uh, he just was in the right spot and took that shot away from BYU. I would have tried to bat it down in the air. Burkhart with Hamilton. Down goes Burkhart. 35 seconds left. Bartholomew. Nice flick back to Alda. Alda oh, passed it up and it was in the middle. That was a nice play by Alda. Unfortunately, the stick was tied up, but that was a goal. Right at Taylor, and he smothers it. And a slip by an Aggie on the ice. And yeah, Alda had a good looking shot there where he passed it, passed it, unable to connect and score. But yeah. better looks and uh, more fluidity offensively for the Cougars. I'll tell you, Mio, you know, Helsinki, Finland native, and I, I think he is a smart hockey player. I've seen some things tonight that I really like. I wish it was about a foot taller, but. Uh, well, he'll get used to this ice and he'll get used to this style of play and he'll be a real contributor for BYU going forward. But that was a smart play. He had his head up and he saw the opening there. If Shugart could have got a stick on that puck, that would have been another goal for BYU. What do you see from Alda that you like tonight? Well, he's just smart. Plays with his head up. Um, he's got to get he's got to get his speed up. He's got to get the game speed. But once he does that, he's making good choices out there. He's just a little bit behind. But right there, that was a smart hockey player play. He saw that. He slid the puck. The goaltender's playing the shot. Right. And he, what he did is he misdirected that puck just to that, that shorts or the weak side and where Shugart was sitting there waiting for the tip in. And that was very close to being another goal for BYU. He lived in San Jose when he was 10. His sister attended BYU, said she loved it. He's a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and uh, actually served in the Finnish Army. And uh, in the locker room they say, he's the sniper, man. Call him the sniper. Well, we haven't seen a snipe shot from him tonight, but BYU with a much improved second period as they outscore Utah State two to one. They're still down by six, but when you're talking opening game, a lot of new people on the roster, a definite positive and uh, outstanding second period for BYU as Brent Taylor gave up eight in the first, just one in the second. So it's Utah State nine.